bravo, bro. Y'all done managed to somehow do the impossible. I have said before that there is no such thing as a terrible top 10, 15, 20, 25, 100 NBA list. Ain't no such thing as a bad list because everyone's opinion is different. If everyone's opinion is different, every single list is going to be different and everyone's going to have some type of problem with every single NBA list that comes out. But the good people over at ESPN have somehow managed to do the impossible. They have somehow managed to create a top five all time top worst 100 NBA best players list. Y'all have somehow managed to get rid of every single ounce of credibility that you had seemingly overnight. Do you know how hard that is to do? And yet, y'all made it look so easy. All right, so I know most of you probably know what's going on by now. Carmelo Anthony was once again trending yesterday, except this time, it's not for a possible trade to the Houston Rockets or anything like that. No, no, no. This time, it's because he has once again been madly disrespected. Check this out. ESPN ranked him at number 64 in the NBA yesterday. The 64th best player in the NBA according to ESPN. What? No, seriously, what? I don't know a word for something that's more disrespectful than disrespectful is, but if I knew that word off the top of my head, I would use it right here because this has people that don't even like Carmelo Anthony. People that have been saying Carmelo Anthony is overrated and stuff like this. Those people are calling this disrespectful. If you have those people calling this disrespectful, then you know that you done messed up ESPN, you done messed up big time, but it's not even just Carmelo Anthony. But hold on, we're gonna get to that in a second though, but it's not even just Carmelo Anthony that ESPN disrespected here. Carmelo Anthony gets the least amount of respect of any star in this generation, and it's for a couple of reasons to different people. The main reason a lot of people don't respect Carmelo Anthony is because he chose to play for the New York Knicks. He chose the bigger salary in playing for the Knicks over taking a little less money and playing for the Bulls, but having a chance to win a championship. He could have been the missing piece that the Chicago Bulls needed to win a championship back in the day, but he chose to play for the Knicks. So some people lost respect for him because of that, even though I don't think the money had everything to do with it i do think it played a little part because i mean that's some serious guap right there that he would have missed out on but anyways you also have to realize that new york is his hometown he has said that he learned to love the sport of basketball playing in a park in new york so i think it's more that of a hometown connection and him wanting to put on uh, for the city that made him instead of just completely the money so you have to take that into account too but even so just because he chose money over potentially being able to win a ring doesn't make him any less of a great player than he was back then i mean you can't discredit his skills because of a decision he made kevin durant decided to join the golden state warriors all right does that make him any worse of a player no he's still a phenomenal player top five player in the nba easily carmelo's decisions don't affect his skills and he will still go down as one of the best scorers that the nba has ever seen and even though he's out of his prime he is still one of the better scorers in the NBA he can still go out there and get buckets look like the old mellow any given night and he is still better than 64th in the NBA there are not 63 players that are better than Carmelo Anthony I refuse to believe that anyone believes that there are 63 players in the NBA right now that are better than Carmelo Anthony so to have him ranked below Lonzo Ball who, don't get me wrong, Lonzo Ball could come into the NBA as the 63rd best player. It is highly possible, but to have Carmelo Anthony ranked below Lonzo is disrespectful. But to have Carmelo Anthony ranked below Robert Covington, Malcolm Brogdon, Danny Green, freaking 22 spots below Otto Porter Jr. I don't even know how to describe how disrespectful that right there is. At this rate, I'm pretty sure ESPN will put Flight Reacts above Carmelo Anthony. But like I said, it doesn't even just stop with Carmelo Anthony. 
DeMar DeRozan. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, one of the best players in the NBA. If I had to ask you guys to rank him in your head right now, I guarantee most of you are thinking somewhere around top 20 at least, all right? DeMar DeRozan is a top 20 player in the NBA. Averaged 28 points, five rebounds, and four assists per game last year. Seems pretty freaking good to me, right? Seems top 20 worthy. Do you know where he ranks? on ESPN's list of the best players in the NBA. Take, take a wild guess. I guarantee you that you will never guess this number. 39th! The 39th best player in the NBA is DeMar DeRozan. 28 points, five rebounds, and four assists per game. Got him 39th. 30... Ninth. You, you seriously got Jay Crowder. You seriously got Eric Bledsoe, Miles Turner, Chris Milton, all above DeMar DeRozan. And it's going to get worse. This list isn't finished yet. They've only released up to number 31. So they got still got to do 30 to number one. You haven't seen Ben Simmons yet. And once again, no shots fired towards Ben Simmons or anything. He can come in the NBA as one of the best players. But to put him above DeMar DeRozan already? 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 Dude hasn't played a single game yet. And he's better than someone who's proven he can put up 28, five and four. I just don't understand how you could possibly get it this wrong. How can you call yourself an NBA analyst? You get paid to talk about basketball and then you turn around and say that there are 63 players in the NBA that are better than Carmelo Anthony and 38 players in the NBA that are better than DeMar DeRozan. How do you do that? This is just horrible, but it's like, all right, ESPN, all right, you, wh whatever. You have sunken to an all-time new low. Even Kevin Durant. Shout out to the people that showed this to me on Twitter. Remember when I talked about a couple weeks ago Kevin Durant uh, having a debate on Twitter with that NBA fan? Well, yeah, Kevin Durant hit that person up on Twitter yesterday, slid into the DMs of an NBA fan. How interesting would that be to have Kevin Durant sliding into your DM? So he did that and then they started talking about the list. The guy asked KD what he thinks about Melo being ranked number 64 on this list and Kevin Durant gave a pretty perfect response. ESPN is good for breaking sports news and not evaluating sports talent. That means nothing. Pretty accurate. Once again though, I just don't see why or how this actually happens. Like, don't they have people review these things before they go live online to make sure everything is all right? So you mean to tell me you have people, editors checking to make sure nothing was crazy or out of order here, and they all went down this list, saw Carmelo Anthony at number 64, saw DeMar DeRozan at number 39, and said, yep, checks off, seems good, sounds about right. You mean to tell me that that happened? It feels like you will purposely have to try to make a list that was this bad. A matter of fact, that very well could be the case. Just thinking about it, hold up. Hear me out here, it's a very dry time for the NBA. No basketball being played about a month to the NBA season starts. This is usually the driest time of the year for NBA fans. So ESPN's views and clicks have probably been going down a little bit in the NBA division. So in order to spice things up a bit, they had to create a little bit of controversy. and. When you make a good list and pretty accurate list, people don't think twice about it. So they'll see the list go, that sounds about right, and move on with their day. However, when you make a list that is this historically trash, people see it, call it blasphemy, rage, it causes controversy, and that gets people to talk about it, got me to talk about it, which creates that guap for ESPN. So I'm hoping, praying, that that is the case, even though it would be a pretty scummy thing to do. They intentionally made this list really bad just so it could get more views than an accurate list would bring in since people are gonna start talking about it and it's gonna get more clicks and which equals more money. So I hope that's what it was because if not, if you generally think that there are 63 players in the NBA that are better than Carmelo Anthony and 38 players in the NBA that are better than DeMar DeRozan ESPN, then Ain't no words to describe the type of idiocracy that must be going down inside of ESPN studios at this very moment. But like I said, we still got numbers one through 30 to go. They haven't even released the full list by the time I was making this video. So you already know 
there are about to be some more crazy pills. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. How insanely bad is this list? Let me know what you think. But like always, thank you once again for coming back for more daily NBA discussions. It really just makes me so happy to know I can wake up every single day and talk basketball with you guys. So like and subscribe if you would like to see more of these type of videos. And, you know, until next time, could be later today or tomorrow or whatever.